How's it going, everybody? We got Spotlight Raids coming to the game, which we don't know enough about. So in this blog, we're going to go through it. I'm going to ask all the questions the blog didn't answer, tell you why it could be horrible, but maybe it's going to be okay. Like, we just don't know. I, I'm anxious about it. I think there is a glaring issue here that we do need to talk about. That's what we're going to do this video. And then tell them this video, I'm going to showcase the new game coming to the global launch on May 8th. It's a Genshin style game called Solo Leveling Arise based on the hit anime right now. It's so fun. I'm going to be covering this game. There's going to be a timestamp if you want to check that out. If not, just cut off the video when we get to that part. But I think you're going to want to watch it because it is super crisp, super fun. Anyway, let's get into the blog right now. First things first, let's go ahead and let's check out what's going on with this. Spotlight raids, cooldown timers for Dark Dimension. The second part is self-explanatory. We talked about that. They're reducing the cooldown from 24 hours to one hour when you complete it. But the spotlight raids, what the heck is this? This is the first time I've heard about this. Um, and I'm getting feedback from my Discord that they are not happy about it. So, a new raid. Fill up your web shooters and raise the Canadian flag. Oh, Canada. Our home and... No, nobody cares. I don't even care. All right. Because we've got a big new raid. That's not true. I'm very proud to be Canadian. But it is what it is. Uh, raid opening soon. Your Spider-Verse Savers, the Spider Society, and the upcoming Alpha Flight team are teaming up to deliver much-desired ability materials. Are they suggesting Alpha Flight as a raid team here? I really hope not. Is Alpha Flight a Mystic team? Are we? No, there's no way we're getting another raid team. And that doesn't make any sense for them to be Mystic. They're probably just useful in another mode. And they're going to have a tag for this, I would hope. We need clarification on that. That's awful if that's true. Introducing Spotlight Raids featuring Alpha Flight and Spider Society, the newest addition to our raid lineup under the equally new Spotlight Raids banner. The newest addition to our raid lineup is the Spider Society. Were they suggesting Alpha? I'm so confused if this is true. I know nothing about Alpha Flight, guys. Absolutely nothing. And I'm terrified of this right now. Because that, that just wouldn't be fun. Uh, spotlight Raids. The Spotlight Raids are just another, aren't just another Greek or Ultimist type raid. And in fact, they will be replacing Greek Raids. Okay, so we're losing our Gold Orb, plus the awful rewards that are in the Greek Raids as well. These new raids will make new teams shine since they will be required for the hardest difficulties. Required for the hardest difficulties, not for all difficulties, so that's good. The upcoming Alpha Flight team details of which will be revealed soon, and Spider Society will be the first to blaze through these new raid challenges. Is Alpha Flight a raid team or not? What, just say if it is. Say if they're the new Mystic team. Because they can't be a, a, a uh origin free team because we just don't have those raids anymore unless they're trying to force us to have like another avenue of teams we have to build with the raid tag that'd be horrible the spotlight raid featuring alpha flight is also requires the cunning and agility of the spider society team right from the get-go recruiting and powering your spider society team for the initial raid nodes is crucial don't get caught off guard <laughs> start beefing them now everyone who said they were gonna skip spider society you did this to us you did this it's your fault New raid layout. Say goodbye to the usual three teams of eight players. Set up and say hello to the new four teams of six. This means every player counts more than ever. Do they know that like 90% of alliances don't have 24 members and can't maintain that because the recruiting systems in this game are non-existent? Do they know that? Each raid strike team will feature three lanes. You won't go it alone as each lane will be tackled by two alliance mates. Bro, <laughs> why? <laughs> Why? Why wouldn't you just do what like incursion is and what alpha is where three people for each side of a raid can get it done, but they would never be able to maintain that with the energy. So they would have to core it. But like then if you don't have a full alliance for a week, like you could still cover your raid. Like why? Why? Oh my God. Giving you a lane partner to rely on. Yeah. Except if there's, oh my God, here is a diagram of the spotlight raid layout. Okay. So it's start, one, two, three. But it's single nodes? Is it single nodes? That's my only question. Okay, maybe we're fine. Maybe this is okay. Right? If, it, if it's just node, 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 this is fine. What this will do, however, is it's going to make... First of all, it'll make Alliance leaders be able to... Um, assign people the appropriate tags for which they've built, which is good. But if people 
by the Spider Society team for this purpose, and they get slotted with somebody else who does the nose before they do, it causes infighting. Like, there's no good way to do it except to make it like Alpha and Incursion, where it's three people per side, and you can kind of weave in and out. That's the only good way to do raids. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Take flight for T4s and Crimson Gear. Ooh, <laughs> Crimson Gear. This raid is your golden orange ticket to scoring tons of ability materials. I know lots of people have T4 shortages, so this maybe it's going to be a good thing. Maybe maybe it'll be worth the headache. Especially the powerful T4 ability materials. Crimson Gear is also up for grabs, so there is a big ways to power up your squads with a new Spotlight raid. After reading this section, you probably have more questions about Spotlight raids. <laughs> yeah, bro, why would you why would you half-ass this? Why on earth would you come out with half the details? I, I have so many burning questions already. Do we need certain star requirements for Spider Society? Is Alpha Flight a raid team? Are they the Mystic team? Can we tell people to stop working on their Bifrost so that they're not wasting their resources when they're going to need to build for this? What do you consider lots of T4s? You said like something about lots of T4s somewhere. All right, so was it in the very first sentence? Alpha team are teaming up to deliver much desired ability materials. Yeah, so like what is considered a lot for you guys or what is just the normal? Is this going to be just another 20 like the regular raid gives? Because I doubt they want to eliminate that bottleneck. How much Crimson Gear? <laughs> I just, there, there's, there's, there's so many more questions about this. Like what, why on earth would you have to deliver the communication on this and just not wait till it's completely ready to go and deliver it? And honestly, I know this sounds pretentious all the time. Why is this the first time the envoys find out about this? Like half an hour before this goes live. And then obviously like most of us, like myself and with my kids, I can't look at it. Why on earth? Like, you have basically a marketing department in the Envoy program with you. I'm not saying we show for them. I'm not saying we just say whatever they want us to say. But if we were in there, if we were able to go, play test it, show that, hey, maybe it's not as bad as it seems. Like, to me right now, I'm having so many red flags. I'm getting anxious about this. If we could show, like, hey, there's really good rewards. If we could show something like that, if there is something good to show then this could actually become a super positive thing. There's just so many unknowns that people instead are going to be like in the dark, anxious about this, and it's just not its just not being delivered well. It's not being accepted well either. This is just a, a huge L to do it like this. I'm not saying the person who wrote this up did a huge L. They probably were had limited information they could share. But just giving the person a limit on what they could share, that was a huge mistake. Next legend, are they going to find out the legendary? We've been hinting at this for a while. Very soon we'll announce today. As announced previously, the edit times he will be required for this new legendary. Additional teams will be needed. We will reveal soon when we reveal the next legendary. Okay, so it's not like additional tags will be needed. So it's like additional teams because it'll be like a scourge where the out of time team has two or three nodes. And then like the other nodes will be needed from a bunch of other stuff. There'll probably be another older tag with the out of time team. Just pray to God they don't do what they did with Green Goblin Classic because that was garbage trash. Yeah. All right, Dark Dimension cooldown. And last Friday's weekly blog, we announced a new feature reducing the cooldown period. Yeah, that's cool. Um, on the new account, there's lots of people starting a new account. Lots of people are actually starting to pick the game up, which I think is fantastic. Marvel Strike Force is a really good game at its core. Mechanically, community is dope. Scopely's communication could probably take a couple uh, lessons from the community. We have a couple suggestions. Um, but yeah, so lots of people are starting to go through these dark dimensions. So having to be a one hour cooldown instead of like 24 hours is great. I know like I just finished Dark Dimension 3 and had to wait 24 hours. Like I autoed every single node just to wait 24 hours to go auto it again. It's like, ugh, come on. I, I would have rather open up eight mega orbs instead of four at the same time, right? All of them are trash anyway. Uh, so be sure to get your Spider Society ready as you unlock them in the coming weeks and prepare them for the Alpha Flight Conquer their Spotlight Raid. Okay, so a couple things. This Spider Society team has quickly become the most rewarding team to invest in early. First of all, there's the showcase. Uh, they are really good in the raids to the point where they don't need to be as big as... Um, the invaders are for like every other raid except for incursion 2 where there's the resistance issue they just buff them their speed stat they crush in the current season of crucible in stage two uh now there's this spotlight raid and there's the killing tower that's five avenues in which they are 
enticing you to invest in this spider city team i know i'm investing in them i'm not saying go out and buy them but just go hard on those events get them unlocked sure there's going to be some stuff star requirements like the showcases have that just makes that completely useless to you but it is what it is right i'm very interested to know what you guys feel about this spotlight raid situation i i assume everyone's like me like i don't know enough i don't know enough if i should be happy pissed off like i just anxious about it now it's just it's a terrible way to deliver this message which could have been really cool like maybe it's a lot of t4s maybe it's a lot of crimson gear maybe oh another big thing we didn't know about is if it's spider society's required i guess an alpha oh alpha flight is required so will the entire alpha flight team be released before this raid is released or are spenders gonna have a monopoly on doing the hardest difficulty of the raids you know what i mean like will the free-to-play release methods be done before the raid launches if not you are insanely ostracizing the spenders from alliances with the non-spenders and alliances the spenders of alliances of the same alliance i should say so if they're in the same alliance a spender is going to have the elf flight team they're going to be like cool i'm ready to do the spotlight raid i want that crimson gear i want those t4 ability materials and then the the people that don't spend in that alliance are going to hold them back it's another reason why spenders would want to vacate where they're at and congregate in similar alliances which is not like it's not the evilest thing in the world but it has led to what is happening at the very top right now where it's like it used to be the big three alliances right it used to be legion mutiny sex panthers i guess baby yoda's in there troopers is in there uh i think there's maybe one more i'm missing did i say baby yoda where it's like all the spenders are in those five alliances like all the all the big spenders and then it kind of trickles down from there it just doesn't seem very healthy let me know what you guys think about these uh spotlight raids but let's go talk about something really fun and really exciting all right guys this is the next like big exciting mobile game that's going to be coming to a phone near you or also to a pc port near you this is the solo level arise game based on the very very popular anime that's just like sweeping the world right now i randomly was suggested this show i watched it and then i just got on twitch so i was like hey you gonna try this game out i was like whoa is this connected and it's amazing this game is amazing the graphics the gameplay the price doesn't seem very crazy either it is a gotcha game so there's definitely aspects of gambling there is ways to like wail out and spend way too much money and that's not what i want to suggest anybody do uh but i suggest you play it because the free-to-play story is the anime but you get to play it out and you get to see further than what is already animated Hello. and oh my god the game wait till you see the gameplay this is great and it's not too weeby it's not too weeby uh where you're getting like you know girls like just really horribly scantily clothed which uh, i appreciate because if my wife walks in i don't need that headache uh but yeah I, let's just go ahead and we're gonna do a quick fight here hold on get a little bit of mission now nah, here's your pop-ups the pop-ups of the gotcha games so first things first let me show you um this is like their version of a new character summoning pool right you know like how we just had uh pavitra come out and like you could buy the offer but you cannot straight up buy this character's offer you would have these things called like tickets where you would pull on it there is a pity timer you're never guaranteed to get the newest character but also there's not like the power creep of marvel strike force like the characters you get you can build them up there's definitely characters that are better than others um and that's just true of all games right uh but I'll, I'll do this with you guys real quick and then i just want to show you guys some gameplay just so you can kind of see what this is like at least if you draw 10 instead of doing one at a time you're guaranteed to get something interesting we didn't get the good fun pull so we did not get like a, a high value character i don't think boom flashy letters colors everything so crazy all right so we got a bunch of garbage uh this is actually a duplicate which means i'm going to be able to like promote her higher and that's what it would be like the first time you get a character you unlock them the second time you get a character it would be like increasing their star level if you want to compare it to marvel strike force but let me show you some gameplay because this is so fun the gameplay is crazy uh i don't know how it'll do on a phone i play with my logitech controller on the computer just because of well how insane the gameplay is i like the phone i, I imagine it'd be like um what's that other game i never played it uh genshin impact 
where your phone would like explode i imagine it would be something like that i'm gonna try this if i lose uh, i believe it doesn't eat the key up so let's just go ahead and do this anyway um yeah we're probably gonna lose but it'll be fun recommended element is the okay the moon one all right cool let's do this uh not her anymore we have uh we have her now oh i got him too oh wait he's fire okay let's go do hold on hold on we're gonna go do the other boss the snake looks cooler but uh double fight actually you know what the snake just looks cooler we gotta lean into what looks cool let's grab her up um and let's get in there all right let's go she has no weapon we should probably put a weapon on her let's just borrow this weapon from that guy for now all right dope let's go the gameplay is so smooth it's so crisp and it's so intense <laughs> so if you've watched the show this might seem familiar to you this is like the first dungeon uh, obviously I'm not playing as the main character right now you do play as the main character in the main storyline look at this it's beautiful it's beautiful Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I gotta dodge. I've never used this character yet. I just got her today. Ooh, that was dope. She's a magician. She's a mage. Oh. What did we just we summoned something in here? That's great. Okay. Well, we're calling in cards. We're kicking that ass. All right, we got the archer guy. Let's draw back, draw back, draw back. Okay. Ooh, ooh, look at the damage, look at the damage. Oh, I got wrecked. I did not dodge that. This game is so fun to play. I'm so, okay, so before I just get too into it and I just focus on the game, let me focus on what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm gonna be making another channel to cover this game. I'm not gonna include this in the Marvel Strike Force channel. I will do one video. Kind of showing all the aspects of it tomorrow in the marvel strike force video but i don't want to like try and force this game on you guys but i'm gonna start another channel link to that will be in the description below i'm definitely covering this game i've had so much fun with it it's like the gameplay reminds me of like one of my one of my favorite all-time games kingdom hearts but like much faster pace it's got that live service game benefit to it and i do think it's a benefit myself Oh, we're wrecking. We're absolutely wrecking. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about the game, as you may be able to tell. Oh, we're about to beat this boss. We have one minute left to beat the boss. Our, uh, our archer guy almost died. One thing I will, oh, so the game isn't uh, global yet. <laughs> Fairy the lead. The game isn't global yet. It goes global May 8th. But if you're in Canada right now, speaking of Alpha Flight, uh, if you are in Canada, you can play it now. If not, May 8th. What is this going to do? Oh my god, everyone's... Oh my, my entire team is dead. I was like, oh, I did 30,000 30, damage, but then like my girl instantly died. We win. We got the kill. Look, don't judge me. It wasn't clean. Hardest difficulty I've ever done. Let's see if we get some orange gear. We, we took damage 20, less than 25 times. We got garbage gear. We got trash gear. All right, but I'm still super excited about this game. Let me know what you think about solo level of Rise. I would strongly suggest, even if you don't want to play the game, just go watch the anime. If you are into that sort of thing, uh, I binge watched the whole thing almost immediately because of how fun this is. Um, but yeah, let's end the video there. So let me know what you guys are thinking about the spotlight rates and about solo leveling a rise. That gameplay, do you see how intense I was? You know, drawn in I was? This is going to be a fun game to play, a fun game to cover, and I hope you come along for that ride. But for right now, stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.